Hey gamers, by request, here is some sneaky and fast loot that you can get out of POIs with minimal effort, a little bit of fighting, and day one gear. First place is wildfire camping. Come up here, take that wood out. You gotta do a little bit of fighting. Buddy, what are you doing? All right. Then you take the bottom wood out, smash that out. All right, now that should be about it for here. Grab your arrows. Well, that isn't it for there. That should be it for here. Okay, you can hear one snarling, but she's not in this area. You don't want to go any further than this counter. They won't wake up if you're quiet about it. You can get all these. See, he's not awake. And smash all those. All of these, that, leave that alone, you don't want that. Grab your arrows, the main loot is all yours. We got a burning shaft mod, we got a chain mod too, but I like the burning shaft mod. And this is a tier 3 in the desert and you can see that we're having minimal problems getting at the main loot here in the final room. The only thing is we don't have lockpicks and the tier 3 chest is locked. And aside from this, which we're not going to beat into because of 5,000 hit points, we're, we're golden. Collect up all these things, search the tent, don't stand in the campfire. Uh-oh. We got company. Eat down those for polymer for your dew collectors. Grab these for easy iron. Cloth and armor parts and possibly a legendary part in there. You can take the tree for some wood if you want. Take the plants for clay. Take all the stuff off the shelves. I think we did pretty good there. Always, always take the wood from this place. And the books. And more chairs. Now let's take a look at how we did here. That's our hull. Scrap those down. Those will scrap down for 120 iron. We got some books. We got some lots of murky water. We got some parts. We got some basics. We did really good. We got one lockpick. Should we try our lockpick? I have one point into lockpicking. 
Oh, we got in there with one lockpick. Let's see what it would have given us. Look at this. More ammo. Look at that. Nomad headgear for less food and water use. We right now do have a full set of that crap. Just going to put that on and scrap that thing. A beaker. Right in the first container we open, we get a beaker. I'm noticing that in version 1.0, beakers are way more common than they used to be. I did see another creator, pre-built, who got rid of his beaker that he found on day one because he felt it was too much. But that's actually what I'm finding, is beakers are very common. And we still have our lockpick. So that's all what we took out of there. I think it's a good time investment. We got a fortitude mod. We got a lot of good stuff. Okay, so let's take our new helmet and our one lockpick and go see what else we can find. That's that wildfire camping gear. The Fates Motel can get a bunch of good stuff out of here. With a little bit of effort and minimal fighting. You want to come around the back here. And see where that's taken out? Two over and one up. There's your main loot. There's going to be somebody guarding it. Today, it's a spider. It usually is a spider. There. Now you can either hammer that and get through, or go around here and open the door. There's your spider. Here's some crates. It's not the main loot, but it's pretty darn good loot if you ask me. And a crack -a book crate. Always go in and check the bathroom. Who knows, might find a pistol or a knife. Okay, that's one thing. Now the other thing is in here. I'm going to open up this window before I open up the door just to see what we're working with. There should be a large weapons bag guarded by a dog. Okay. Might take a hit or two, but there's your weapons bag. Okay, we're not done with the free crates yet. Oh, I think it's in here. We got one hiding in the attic. It's a shamway crate. It's often a shamway, shamway crate. Might get some good stuff. Check the bathroom. And we're not done yet with this place. You can make a play for the main loot. There will be fighting. Let's just dump off what we've got so far. Right. main loot's in here. But there's also about five zombies, too. Stay on the windowsill. Don't enter the room. I can see three of them, one of which is a cop. There should be another one in there, and there should be another one hiding somewhere else. Search whatever you can that's in reach. This is a tier 4 POI. That is a great score. Savage Country Crate. Pass and gas. Little weapons bag. Poppin' pills. Crack a book. You can reach the poppin' pills from here. And the crack a book. And we're still on the windowsill, just at the edge, and we can get that far crate. And that was so not worth it. Going any further, you're going to wake them up. I do not have AI turned off. AI is on. That's how you get the main loot out of the Fates Motel without dying. But I think we did pretty good in there. Anyway, that's what we got out of the, out of the Fates Motel. That's a Tier 4 with Day 1 gear. That is a great haul. This is the Senior Drogas Residence. We're going to see if we can make a play for the main loot without dying. I don't know if we can. In theory, it's possible. 
but I guess we'll see. Yeah, we're going to make a play for the main loot here. Alright. Just take the crate. Here's the savage country. Poppin' pills crate. There's our ammo pile, the med pile, and level 3 freight. Let's see what we got. If I was to do this again, what I would do is I would break this crate to get access to that one and that one and that. And then break this and you can come in and get the other two piles. That went a whole lot better than I had envisioned it going. All right, let's go put a crate down and see what we stole out of there. Okay, we got six light bulbs. A little bit of ammo bullet casings, level three wraps you can break down. We got some magazines, duckbill mods, some baton parts, some basic stuff, and healing, and honey, and vitamins, and more steroids. That's a good haul. Considering the risk really wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting all kinds of zombies waking up. That's a good haul. This is the Richmond residence. It's the one with the creepy altar in the attic. I've actually got a private play going on where I'm living in that attic, and it's working out quite well so far. There's a lot of room up there. Anyway, what you want to do is get your frames and get up to that window. You're going to need a lot of them for this one. Generally, when you're going up a building, you don't want to touch the building until you get to where you're going. But here, we're going to have to anchor things to that balcony. Okay, now there's three zombies in here, and they will wake up. They are on a platform up near the ceiling. They'll wake up. You used to be able to sneak in here without waking them up, but that's just not possible anymore. As soon as you check something... See? As soon as we drop down. Okay, so we're going to let them come to us. And we're going to let them do that. They can make it back up, but it's going to take them a while. Okay, where'd the third one go? See, he's back, right? Gonna let him do that again. Okay, we've killed two. There's usually three. Where's the third one? They dropped down from up there, hey? Okay, anyway, this is all yours. See how much space there is here? And you've got the candle's pre-existing light here. You don't have to go making your own light source to increase heat. Kind of like that. It's not epic, but it's ours. And it can be done. There's a workbench over here, too. And you can check the truck. This is another POI that it's easy to run through. It's just a little tier one. There's a chance for a cooking pot right back behind here. Nope, not today. Alright, let's go take a look and see what we stole from the Richmonds. Hmm, some seeds, a little bit of archery ammo, one book, some good stuff, not bad. It's, um, that wasn't worth the time and effort unless you're moving into that POI. Or unless you just don't have a lot of time and just running by, hey? 